every time I hear breaking news, I hope the news is about researchers who have uh, about researchers who have found a cure for people with Alzheimer, dementia, or any other type of brain disease. Thinking of growing old and being at risk of developing a brain disease bothers me. What if one day I wake up and I cannot recognize my family members, or I can't even move my hand, my legs, and I need other people's help to feed me or take me to the washroom? You probably have heard about uh, Ice Bucket Challenge, the challenge that raised money for amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS, which is a brain disorder disease, and it scares me the most. Unlike Alzheimer's dementia, ALS affects younger adults aged 40 to 70, and it kills people within three to five years. Unfortunately, it is very hard to diagnose this disease, and once it is diagnosed, it's already at its later stage. So my research focusing on diagnosing ALS at its earlier stage. So you think that uh, probably because ALS is a brain-related disorder, I might have directly looked into the brain to find any sign of early, um, like early diagnosis for this uh, disease. Nope, this is not the case. However, there is a window to the brain that's called the eye. Yes, our eye is the only window to the brain that can be seen directly, and it tells us how healthy our brain is. So what I do for my research, I receive eyes from patients who were diagnosed with ALS and who has died from ALS. I image the retina at the back of this eye using a non-invasive eye imaging technique. And I'm looking for any changes in the retina that caused by damage to the neuron cells in the retina, which send the message to the brain. So my goal in this research is to adapt this clinical available eye imaging system to diagnose uh, diseases that are due to the brain damage. This means that uh, when we go for our regular eye checkup, our eye physician can tell us whether we have to go see a neurologist. And when we see the neurologist, at that time, we have not even noticed the sign of this disease, like the loss of memory or movements, problem with movements in our muscles. So stay tuned for the upcoming breaking news about my research results. Thank you. Thank you.